Excuse me. Sorry, that literally I just felt a burp coming on and I wanted it to get out before I did my intro. Anyway, hey what's up my dogoos, Jason and welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Last time we went around Skyloft with our newly acquired claw shots and took care of any little quests that needed to be taken care of there. This time we're going to be heading down to the to explore an unknown region of Lanayru, but first things first, we are here at the Lumpy Pumpkin to collect some gratitude crystals. First one is down here outside in that area where we need to bring those pumpkins. So, you know, just come down here and you'll find it right there where I got it. The second one is right up here. It's just right there at the first one. That's much better. 55. That is so much better. It's just right up here, this first, uh, little counter, I guess you call it. But that takes care of the, all the gratitude crystals we can get at this point, so I'll meet you guys back down in Lanayru. Alrighty, back here in the west desert, or the west part of Lanayru Desert. It's time to use our claw shots to their proper use. Or whatever. I don't know how to. I don't know how to English. Anyway, there's a new pathway here, so let's go down it. Welcome to the Lanayru Caves. Ooh, and there appears to be a Goron here. I want to grab another one of these blessed butterflies because they are what we need to upgrade that potion. I'm actually gonna blow up some of these areas. I almost never get visitors. My name is Golo, and I'm researching the legend of the three dragons, one of which is said to live here. At first glance, it would seem that there's nothing in this area, but I know there's something here. I will just keep on looking. So your name is Link, I see. Not the easiest name to say, is it? Or how about... Then how about you, Link? Why are you here? You were looking for a sacred flame? That does sound like something I have heard of before, but maybe not. Sweet Goro, I remember now. I read something about it being an ancient scrolls that speak of, a, of the Lanayru Sansi. I don't remember all the details, but, but you can get to the Lanayru Sansi if you ch just go through, straight through here. If you want to get to Lanayru Sansi, you're going to need this key. All right, we get a small key. Good luck to you. Oh, I th first thing there, I thought it blew up in the cutscene. And it looks like we got another, you know, bombable area here. So we're gonna roll a bomb. What does that give us? Oh. So we didn't blow up the other ones, eh? Well, we can fix that. Look at that. It worked. Yay. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna grab this chest. Which houses a monster horn. I don't know if we'll need that for anything else that we need to upgrade, but... You know, it could come in handy. Some Bokoblins carry a monster horn on their waist. If you latch onto him and pull, you, pull with your whip, it is possible to claim it for yourself. Yes, Fee just described an aspect of the whip that I did not go over. You can, in fact, use the whip basically the same way as the grappling hook in Wind Waker. 
you can use it to latch, to latch onto certain items that monsters are holding, and you can end up getting that. Similar to how Wind Waker, how if you use the gra grappling hook, you can get certain items like joy pendants and skull necklaces from enemies. A report, Master. This is the Laneru Sensi. This whole area was once a vast ocean. But the water has all evaporated, and now the area is full of sand. Evap evaporated. Ugh. Welcome to Laneru Sansi. Signs indicate that this place functioned as a port, linking the land to the sea. This area operated on a new form of power. There, there is a 90% probability that the sacred flame is in this area. I recommend exploring the sand sea. I hate when the, tac the text goes by like that. But yes, welcome to the sand sea. We have a whole new region to explore. Well, a whole new air. Ugh. Whole new area in a region to explore. My lord, I cannot speak properly. But starting off in said area, there's actually something we can take care of. What is said thing? Well, there is in fact a bunch of these Aleros. Or not Aleros, uh, what are they? I don't remember their names. Uh, it's been like freaking. It really has been like. What? 10, 11, 12 episodes since I've seen these guys last? But there's a goddess cube chest right here. We're, or goddess cube. We're gonna go ahead and activate it. And from there... We can just head back out this way. Got ourselves a choo choo, electric choo choo here. And a bird statue. Ancient Harbor. But, it looks to be a mysterious guy here and a time shift stone. We know what to do with that. Some human vroom? Who am I? I am the proud skipper of the ship that protects this Nehru's flame. It was the day of the storm. My crew and I were navigating the sea as usual. And then those brutes, the pirates, suddenly attacked us. They were after Le Nehru's flame. Or Nehru's flame. My crew was imprisoned. I was thrown into the sea. I drifted on the current to this port. After that, I took this boat and went searching for my ship and crew, but they were nowhere to be found. It haunts me, wondering where my ship could be. I'd bet my hat they turned the ship invisible and hiding out are hiding out somewhere. You can't see it. In order to protect Lanayru's uh, Nehru's flame, the ship has a function that allows it to become invisible. You say you're searching for Le for Nehru's flame. Oh, you need Nehru's flame to f find someone important to you? In that case, you should help me search for my ship and crew. If you'll help me, then I guess I'll let you on my boat. Really? Well, in that case... Hmm, there's something weird about that map of yours. 
If you're going to navigate these treacherous waters, you, you need to proper you will need a proper sea chart. There's a sea chart in my shack at Skipper's Retreat. So first you need to get to the, get on this boat and set a course for Skipper's Retreat. Shall we shove off? Alright, let's go. My circuit sparks to life in the salt air. It feels so good to take the seas again, take to the seas again after so long. So let's see if I can remember how to navigate. Press the control stick to move. Press A while moving to speed up. Press B to ready the cannon and press A to fire it. I placed an X mark over the, the, on the island where my house is. There is a pier on the island where we can dock. Uh oh, right, let's go. Alright, so welcome to basically the Wind Waker portion of Skyward Sword, where we basically are riding on the open sand sea. Except now that we have a time shift stone, we can basically turn it all into water. And we're going to be exploring a few islands and taking on the scenery, I guess. I don't know, the great parts of Wind Waker. Hey, really? Let's go ahead and get out. And we've come to Skipper's Retreat. We've arrived. My shack is at the very top. The sea charge you we need is in my shack, but you, you're the one who will have to go get it. There are more monsters about than before, so be careful. I can't wander far from the boat. So I'll just stay here. Yep. And I like how you can actually see certain parts of the of the sand sea from different areas. It's it's a cute, unique little feature that I loved, and I think it's what I liked about you know the first, like I liked about Wind Waker, is how you could see a lot of the places you can go to from the sand sea. It actually looks like the gorge area. But we'll go there later. Right now we have an Electra Plume that we can actually kill with our... With our, uh... Now that our sword is powered up, we can actually kill them with a simple Gosh... Or... Skyward Strike. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I don't know, it's like freaking 1am when I'm recording this. and So, you know. I guess my brain's not as... It's not as active... I guess that's an apparent thing. You know, that's a thing. Your brain's net usually never active in early days. I don't know. Anyway, we got some Dagobubbas. Just easily take them down. Oh, excuse yourself. We got these pea hats. That's the name of these things, and they can help us by la we can letting us latch on to them. Well, out of our will, not so much theirs. Okay, take all those guys down. And we're gonna throw our land. Ugh. Place a bomb. Ooh, more electric choo choos. Whew. Hate those things. Oh, looks like got another pea hat. You just latch onto this. And to that. Or not. To that pea hat. And then latch onto there. Ooh, we got some digging spots. Oh no! No, the Lanayru ants, they fell off the cliff. Oh, poor them. No, they're gonna fall off the cliff again. I'll save you! Well, I saved one of them. At least, all your brethren's gonna have to fall off and die because I couldn't save them. I wasn't fast enough. All right, looks like we have a new type of enemy. We have a, um, 
a m another moblin, but this time he's got s he's got basically steel instead of a instead of a wooden shield. He has a steel shield, which means we can't exactly break over it. So we have to just we basically have to just uh, basically have to just uh, you know jump over him and slice him as many times as we can. Yeah, not exactly the best part. But eh, we get 20 rupees out of it, so I'm not against it. Ow. And with a powered up sword, we can actually take out the golden Deku Babas without a problem. And 20 rupees. And there's a goddess cube over there, so we're gonna latch on to this. Climb over this way and grab onto here. And let's get the goddess cube. Okie dokie, time to move on. And what a coincidence, our favorite fellers from the ancient cistern. Well, we have to use the whip anyway, so it's good to, you know, give us enemies to use this on. And fatal blow. Get ourselves a rupee out of that. But we need to use the whip to get this pea hat out of the ground. Okay, so. Go ahead and use this pea hat. Just wait until our thing comes into. or is close enough to hit that uh, claw shot target. And looks like we have some bugs here, but I'm just too fast for them. But what we actually want to do is take out our tough beetle because there's a Deku Baba hiding here. And if we tried to launch or to go on to that uh, target, that Deku Baba would stop us. Fun, right? Okay, we need to cling on to this. And looks like we have another use for the whip. Yeah, there's one way of showing off their attacks is they shoot fire when uh, they have their tail out. That's usually why you want to hit, the, get their tail and bring them down to you. Is so that way they don't breathe fire. Okay, is there something over there? I'm gonna go check. Oh, there's a chest over here. And another monster horn. Okay, now we need to grab onto that P-hat. And we can't grab onto that one because we were too late. Come on, get it. There we go. No. Grab on!
There we go. Now we can grab onto this. And we are finally at Skipper's Shack. Let's head inside. And there's a stool. Let's sit. I recommend waiting until after you have achieved your objective before taking a rest. First, we need to find the C chart. Phi. I will find the chart when I'm good and ready. I, if I want to rest to get my hearts up, you don't tell me what to do. You got that? Get it? Got it? Good. Okay, so now we can search for that. Ooh, a whole lot of amber relics. Which we are just racking in because they're really, they're like one of the easiest items to find. Minus the jelly blobs, because I feel like the jelly blobs, I feel like jelly blobs and amber relics are kind of the easiest items in the game to find. Looks like there's some of his crew here. Either that or that's his family. Crazy to think all of his family is just... Or his crew, whichever one, is just stuck here. Because there's no way to bring a time shift stone up here. Shouldn't be going through other people's cupboards. Alright, now there's a chest here. Oh. Let's open it. We get the ancient sea chart. Master, I have determined that this is Skipper's sea chart. Let's take get back to him. Master, look over there. That is the ship containing Nehru's flame. There is a 90% chance that the synthetic life forms assembled here are the crew. This image would indicate that the ship's captain spent many happy days among his many crew members. That's an interesting little detail, and I'm glad Phi points that out because you know you obviously wouldn't really see it if you just if it wasn't really pointed out to you. But with that, we now have the sea chart. We can take this lift and it goes down there and then down there. However, there's something much more worth our time. Okay, what is making that sound? Is there something up here? Oh, what do we have here? And of course I didn't catch it. Of course, the thing I wanted to find, I guess they'll have to wait for another time. But now anyway, we're gonna jump off here because there's actually a treasure chest down here that we can get. Go and aim right, use our sail cloth and open the chest. And it houses a silver rupee. Alrighty. Now we can just go ahead and go back to Skipper. Taking care of that lot or that electro plume. Skipper! You got the sea chart? Now we can finally navigate properly. Whew, let's go look for my ship. 
Shall we set sail? Not yet. I see. Because next time on The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we shove off to explore new regions of the Lanayru Sand Sea. Or I guess you can say new islands. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a like. It truly helps out a ton. Make sure you subscribe to Dibbly Dibbly if you've not already. And I'll see you guys all later.